The following information is classified and intended for use by new SCP personnel only. Listening past this point without the proper authorization is strictly prohibited. Perpetrators will be tracked, located, and detained. Congratulations! If you're hearing this, that means you've been chosen for the most important job you will ever have. My name is Dr. Waylon Lau, and allow me to be the first to welcome you to the SCP Foundation. Operating clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction. Empowered and entrusted by every major national government with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The Foundation operates to maintain normalcy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, and to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extradimensional, and other extranormal influence. Our mission is threefold. Secure. The Foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civilian or rival agencies through extensive observation and surveillance and by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. Contain. The Foundation contains anomalies with the goal of preventing their influence or effects from spreading by either relocating, concealing, or dismantling such anomalies, or by suppressing or preventing public dissemination of knowledge thereof. Protect. The Foundation protects humanity from the effects of such anomalies, as well as the anomalies themselves, until such time that they are either fully understood, or new theories of science can be devised based on their properties and behavior. The Foundation may also neutralize or destroy anomalies as an option of last resort, if they are determined to be too dangerous to be contained. The Foundation maintains an extensive database of information regarding anomalies requiring special containment procedures, commonly referred to as SCPs. The primary Foundation database contains summaries of such anomalies and emergency procedures for maintaining or re-establishing safe containment in the case of a containment breach or other event. Anomalies may take many forms, be it an object, an entity, a location, or a freestanding phenomenon. These anomalies are categorized into one of several object classes and are either contained at one of the Foundation's myriad secure facilities or contained on site if relocation is deemed unfeasible. The most common object classes assigned to anomalies and make up the bulk of the Foundation's database are as follows. Safe. Safe class objects are those anomalies that are either sufficiently understood that they are now completely and reliably contained on a permanent basis, or otherwise do not trigger their anomalous effects unless intentionally activated. Classifying an anomaly as safe, however, does not mean that handling or activating it does not pose a threat, and personnel are to be reminded that all special containment procedures and safety protocols are to be observed at all times. Euclid Euclid-class objects are anomalies that are either insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable, such that reliable containment is not always possible, but do not pose sufficient threat to qualify for Keter classification. The vast majority of anomalies cataloged and contained by the Foundation are initially classified as Euclid until they are either sufficiently understood or exhibit sufficient danger to qualify for reclassification. In particular, any anomaly that exhibits autonomy, sentience, and or sapience is generally classified a Euclid-class entity at minimum, due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can act or think on its own. Keter. Keter-class objects are anomalies that pose an inherently serious threat to the safety of Foundation personnel and the rest of mankind, and either require extensive, complex procedures to contain, or cannot be fully contained by the Foundation's current technology and knowledge. These anomalies are generally considered the most dangerous ones in Foundation containment, and all research efforts are directed towards enabling more reliable containment of such anomalies, or, as a last resort, the timely neutralization or destruction of its anomalous effects. The Foundation operates with the utmost secrecy. All Foundation personnel must observe the security clearance levels as well as need-to-know and compartmentalization of information. Personnel found in violation of Foundation security protocols will be identified, detained, and subject to disciplinary action. 
personnel are relegated into five distinct classifications. If you are unsure of your classification, please refer to the ID badge you received prior to orientation. All ID badges must be prominently displayed on your person at all times. Personnel classifications are as follows. Class E. Class E is a provisional classification applied to field agents and containment personnel that have been exposed to potentially dangerous effects during the course of securing and establishing initial containment over a newly designated anomalous effect, entity, or phenomenon. Class E personnel are to be quarantined as soon as possible, monitored, and screened for potentially harmful changes in behavior, personality, or psychology, and may only return to duty after being fully debriefed and cleared by psychiatric and medical staff. Class D. Class D personnel are expendable personnel used to handle extremely hazardous anomalies and are not allowed to come into contact with Class A or Class B personnel. Class D personnel are typically drawn worldwide from the ranks of prison inmates convicted of violent crimes, especially those on death row. In times of duress, Protocol 12 may be enacted, which allows recruitment from other sources, such as political prisoners, refugee populations, and other civilian sources that can be transferred into Foundation custody under plausibly deniable circumstances. Class D personnel are to be given regular mandatory psychiatric evaluations and are to be administered an amnestic of at least Class B strength or terminated at the end of the month at the discretion of on-site security or medical staff. In the event of a catastrophic site event, Class D personnel are to be terminated immediately, except as deemed necessary by on-site security personnel. Class C Class C personnel are personnel with direct access to most anomalies not deemed strictly hostile or dangerous. Class C personnel that have had direct contact with potentially mind-affecting or mimetic properties may be subject to mandatory quarantine and psychiatric evaluation as deemed necessary by security personnel. In the event of a containment breach or hostile action against a Foundation facility, non-combatant Class C personnel are to either report to secure lockdown areas or evacuated at the discretion of on-site security personnel in the case of site-wide breach or other catastrophic event. Class B Class B personnel are those deemed essential to local Foundation operations, and may only be granted access to objects, entities, and anomalies that have passed quarantine and have been cleared of any potential mind-affecting effects or mimetic agents. In the event of a containment breach or hostile action against a Foundation facility, Class B personnel are to be evacuated to a designated, secure, off-site location as soon as possible. Class A Class A personnel are those deemed essential to Foundation strategic operations, and are not allowed direct access to anomalies under any circumstances. When circumstances require Class A personnel to be in direct proximity to such anomalies, such as in the case of facilities housing containment units, Class A personnel are not allowed access to areas of the facility containing such anomalies, and are to be kept in secured areas at all times. In the case of an emergency, Class A personnel are to be immediately evacuated to a designated and secure off-site location. O5 Council members are always Class A personnel. The O5 Council refers to the committee consisting of the highest ranking directors of the Foundation. With complete access to all information regarding anomalies and containment, the O5 Council oversees all Foundation operations worldwide and directs its long-term strategic plans. Due to the sensitivity of their positions, O5 Council members must not come into direct contact with any anomalous object, entity, or phenomenon. Furthermore, the identities of all O5 Council members is classified. All Council members are referred to only by their numeric designation, O5-1 through O5-13. The Foundation is not the only organization with knowledge of and capability to interact with or utilize anomalies. While some of these groups of interest have similar goals and may cooperate with us on issues of global security, many more are opportunistic and profit-oriented, seeking to adapt or use anomalies to their own ends. Foundation personnel are instructed to treat individuals from such group with suspicion at all times, and collaboration with such groups without the explicit prior consent of Foundation leadership will be cause for termination or other disciplinary action. In a few moments, your name will be called and you will be assigned to a working group appropriate to your field of expertise. Once in your new work area, you will be provided with further information specific to your assignment. Have a wonderful day, 
and once again, welcome to the SCP Foundation.